the short tiles category. A paper by Lars Eriksson for the 2021 Bridges Conference. Introduction The common method of replicating Islamic geometric patterns is by hand, using compasses and a straight edge, but in recent years, the method of tiling has been gaining momentum, especially after Lewin Steinhardt popularized it in 2007, and coined the name Giri Tiles. And Bonner, had his extensive book on the matter published in 2017. This paper is the second part of a series about non-equilateral sides in tiling. In the first part, Adapter Tiles evolves the Giri Tile Set. I updated Lewin Steinhardt's Giri Tile Set from the core 5 tiles to 14 tiles, introduced the Phi category where at least one side has the length of Phi, which is relative to the edges with unit length, and defined the non-equilateral tiles as adapters. The Phi category is one example of adapter tiles, but there are more. In this paper I present a new tile category based on tiles with a different side length, the short category. Tiles versus shapes What do I mean by tile, tiles, and tiling? When I read about tessellation of tiles, the word tile often refers to the ceramic tiles used to build architectural patterns, especially in Islamic geometric patterns. Each piece of the pattern is regarded as an entity of its own. In geometry, the word tiling means to cover a plane with these pieces. In contrast, we have Hankins, polygons in contact approach, in which the pattern is the result of tessellation of polygons that interacts with each other by different edge rules. In his publication from 1925, Hankin describes how lines are to cross the edge of a polygon through the center of each side of each polygon two lines are drawn these lines cross each other like the letter X and are continued till they meet other lines of similar origin his use of the word polygon left its mark in Bonner's term for the same concept the polygonal technique as the word polygon is a general term, the word prototile is commonly used to specifically refer to these polygons. I prefer to leave out the proto part and just use the word tile. Here, tiles are the modular pieces that carry the motif. The motif continues over to other tiles by the guidance of edge rules. Tiling is the act of tessellating these tiles. For midpoint crossings, the main edge rule is, that the lines have to cross in a symmetrical way, that is, they have to have an equal angle on both sides of the crossing. When these lines continue, and meet lines from other crossings, they form the shapes. The lines do not have to connect with only the first line, they can continue deeper into the tile and connect to the second or third line, giving the tile a different depth level. Here, the dicker tile has depth 2, and the bow tie tile has depth 1. The shapes here are visualized by grey and white color. They represent the binarity of the pattern, like a chessboard, that have each shape connecting to a shape with the other color. Note, that as I make a distinct difference between tiles and shapes, it might be confusing to read other papers where the use of tiles mostly is for shapes. Invert tiles. When you analyze an existing historical five-fold pattern with the purpose to find out how it can be tiled, you often end up with two ways of doing so. The pattern can be tiled in both ways, using the median decker and bow tie tiles, or the obtuse decker, penta, and barrel tiles. When analyzing, you strive to find the hidden edges, which you find, wherever two pattern lines intersect. Bisect each angle, and you get a perpendicular line, forming a cross. Each line of the cross, indicates a tile edge, perpendicular to the other tile edge, and each represents a way, to tile the pattern. 
Far from all patterns can be tiled both ways. So when you set out to analyze which tiles a pattern has, you have to pick one way and test if it works. If it doesn't, then invert the angle. I use the term invert, as it plays out nicely with the word tile, in my made up word, invertile. Invertiling shifts the polarity of the shapes. This phenomenon isn't something new, but it's addressed from different point of views. In several papers, Casterra describes the concept of positive and negative shapes of the cond pattern family, which the two ways of tiling the pattern corresponds to. It can also be interesting to compare this with Kaplan's Rosette Transform in his paper from 2002. The Short Category In his book from 2017, Bonner describes only two side lengths for the five-fold system, the unit side, and the phi side. But Castera depicted tiles with a third side, in a workshop presentation. Here, I define this new side length, and introduce a new category, the short category, to the tile chart. The acute pattern, shows Jules Burgoyne's plate 171, depicted in his publication from 1879. The common way of tiling this pattern, is to use tiles from the core 5, the Dicker and the Penta tiles, together with the cone adapter tile from the evolved Giri tile set. But invertiled, it can also be tiled, with a different tile set, the short category. It uses only two tiles, the petal tile, and the short version of the Dika tile, called the Sun. Definition Take a bow tie from the core 5, and cut it in half. You will end up with, a tile with three unit length sides, and one shorter edge, hence the name short. To calculate the short side length, we can use the code tile as reference. The difference between the phi side and the unit side, is the same as for the difference between the unit side and the S side in the petal, which gives this elegant formula, S, equals, 2 minus phi. The core short category tile set. The core S. There are more short tiles than the petal and the sun tiles. Using half a short bobbin tile as cutting slice. To cut pieces of a sun tile, we'll create new tiles with unit length sides. With all possible cuts, we get six tiles. One without cuts, one with one cut, three with two cuts, and one with three cuts. Together, they are the core set of the short tiles, the core S tile set. Cond and Tund are two types of Persian patterns. Cast era uses the terms starry and floral patterns. Here is an example of a starry pattern. And this is a floral pattern. The edge rules of the motifs in the core S tile set are 144 degrees for the unit side and 72 degrees for the short side. The motifs in floral patterns correspond to cast era's positive and negative shapes of the Tun family. The floral pattern in Burgoyne's plate 188B, can be tiled in both ways. In the short tiling, four tiles from the short category are used. Worth mentioning is, that Castera's X tiles, offer another way to tile this pattern. In the Merzo Akbar architectural scrolls, 
there is a floral pattern that is of particular interest. It's more complex, and when tiled, it uses all six tiles from the core short tile set. As the name, Core S, implies, there are a vast number of other possible short tiles. One subcategory, is already represented. Within the Core S, the decagonal tile, Deca, from the Core 5 tile set. The rest of the Core 5 tile set, can be similarly adjusted to become short tiles. The short Core 5. This is an original floral pattern, tiled by the author. It includes the short bow tie tile, even though such combinations generate well-known shapes. The short core 5 induced shapes appear in a different scale, and the result is not common in Islamic geometric pattern. When including short core 5 tiles, the pattern cannot be invertiled with only the evolved tile set, at least not until further categories, or additional short subcategories, have been introduced. The interaction between these new categories, and the short tiles, will further enable the replication of historical patterns. Summary and Conclusions I argue that short tiles provide a better visual overview during the design of a new pattern, verification of historical pattern, and analysis of pattern structure. The reason is the focus on the core visual information of the pattern and how it interacts with us humans. It follows the basic rules of gestalt psychology. The principle of similarity states that elements that are similar to each other tend to be perceived as a unified group. Applied to patterns that can be tiled with short tiles, the petal shape is often more frequent than the other shapes combined. Using tiles that carry this shape would be a better solution for the ability to read and decode the visual stimuli of the pattern, which the Chorus tile set does. During the design phase, or when a pattern undergo tile analysis, it's easier to spot the non-petal shapes as they stand out from the background of petal shapes. G++ tiles carry the three more insignificant shapes as main motifs, which makes the petal shapes to form only when tiled, and therefore aren't directly visible during tiling. In this paper, the core S tiles interact only with themselves, and tiles from the short core 5 tile set. For interaction with the evolved Giri tile set, or the all five-sided golden tiles, another category will have to be introduced, the non-midpoint flat category. This addition could open up the ability to tile a wider range of historical patterns. In the next level of tile category exploration, the focus will lie on non-midpoint crossings.